All right, Calgary Flames uh, off day here in between games, and there's a few of these uh, as we welcome in assistant coach uh, Ryan Husk. And, uh, you know, maybe let's just talk uh, specifically about using those days to your advantage, I suppose. Uh, good practice here, uh, you know, in between games and just trying to, I guess, make sure that you take advantage of the time you do have in between, even though I'm sure part of you would like to be playing a little bit more of a consistent schedule. Yeah, the schedule is the schedule, though. That's that's one thing that's every team goes through their kind of ups and downs to it. So, yeah. uh, I mean, our week this week is to make sure we're ready for Edmonton. That's number one um, in our minds and how we want our players to take this week. So um, the extra days off the ice is geared towards probably what we're going to face and try to make sure they have as much energy as they can have moving forward. But um, everything we're doing is uh, focuses on Edmonton coming up on Saturday night, which is exciting. Yeah, no question. And, uh, you know, I just look at, you know, in totality, kind of six games in now and, and the group and some of the evolution. Obviously, the wins are important and you're getting those results. Um, but just what about, um, you know, that, that path and how you got there and maybe just sort of the signs that you're seeing in, in terms of training in the right direction? Well, I think there's, there's, of course, areas that we have to get better at still. Like there's stretches of games where we're not where we need to be. Um, there's areas five on five that we aren't, really enamored with yet that sure. we know our team can be better at um, but it's coming you know I think that's the way you look at it is there's there's less of those stretches where we're unhappy I should say and I think players are starting to figure out the importance of how we have to play and that's a real connected game where everybody is understanding what direction we're going so it's all the guys on the ice that's yeah. the most important thing for us and we're going to continue to push that moving forward you guys talk so much all the time about uh, shot volume and i, I want to ask specifically about your group of six on the back end i know connor's draw, drawn in there one game but just about yeah. that that thought process of always making sure that you're trying to find lanes and get shots through it seems like at least from you know my 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 th perspective that they've done a pretty good job of that this year to this they're point. they're getting there you know yeah. we we really do push them to shoot because there are second opportunities it's it's getting them to be comfortable and confident on the blue line with a little bit of movement so they can get them themselves inside and try to change that shooting lane yeah. a little bit so they can get that puck around the winger that's checking them um, we would like to see them raise it even a little bit more because you generate all the second opportunities off mm -hmm. of rebounds and um, there's a lot of talk in our room about the hardest thing to defend or teach to defend is a rebound because you don't know where the puck's going to go. Right. So we want a lot of pucks to that app, and that includes our defensemen this year. And and we're gonna we're gonna continue to push them as a group to keep them shooting. Rasmus Anderson talked about it a lot too. I mean, what uh, what stood out to you about Rasmus here in the early part of the season? And I don't mean to just single him out, but it just uh, as a guy that you know has logged some big minutes for you again, mm -hmm. and uh, and just kind of continues to to do some good things for yeah, you. Yeah, probably too much. You know, to be honest with you, the the 27 minute night, um, he did some awesome things. In that game and there's overtime mixed in there sure, as well yeah. I think I think with him it's making sure that he manages it the right way because he's a power play guy he's a penalty kill guy sure. and he's a guy that we rely on to play five on five against some of the better lines in the league so he has to make sure he's in a really good place each and every night so when you have those nights which hopefully don't happen very often yeah, for, for, sure. for him and for us um, he's ready for them uh, but the big thing after a night like that is how you recover and how you're ready to play the next game and that's really what um, he's learning and continuing to get better at. Well, it seems like and you guys have a few guys there that on any given night can, can ride those minutes up and, and you know, it kind of it circles a little bit or, uh, you know, cycles, I should say. Yeah, it does. And I, I think that's when you have faith in, in all three of your pairs on the yeah, back end, sure. you know, and a lot of it depends on special teams too. And, yeah, and early in the season, we've killed our share of penalties to start with. There's been a minimum of four a game. So certain guys get more ice time there and a few guys that aren't killing right now don't get that time. So um, it really depends a lot on special teams because, you know, as a three pairs, I guess you can say, mm -hmm. Um, we're comfortable with them on the ice, so it, it makes it easier for us to um, to use them, uh, the group of six of them, in whatever situation we need, five on five. Last one for you, and that's uh, a penalty kill. Uh, obviously an area that you guys spend a lot of time on, but are you happy with some of the pairings, things that you're kind of discovering here about you know this year's group? Yeah, we're getting there. I mean, our forwards up front, they have that familiarity with sure. each other because Lindy and Michael were together all year, basically. Uh, Blake and Louie were together all yes, year, basically. Yeah. And even Dylan and, and Manji. Yeah, yeah. Um, so they kind of have an idea of how their partner penalty kills so what they do in certain situations which makes it a li little easier we've had to kind of move a little bit on the back end where um, Big Z's had an opportunity to kill with Chris on the back end with our, our first rotation guys and I think he's taking a lot of pride in that right now he wants that to be a role that he can um, he can fill for our team and he wants to be used in those situations so I think so far he's done a good job but overall 
Um, penalty kill's job is not to get scored on, it's to try to generate yeah. some momentum for your team. And we've given up a few where we have to continue to push not to allow that to happen. All right, well, uh, appreciate the time and uh, congrats on the start and all the best moving forward. Thanks, Parks.